I'm Father Robert Balliser, the digital Jesuit host of This Week in Enterprise Tech. I'm here at Enterprise Connect 2017 in Orlando, Florida, and I'm sitting with Chris Bosserman from In Contact. Chris, thank you very much for speaking with us. Pleasure to be here, Robert. And now, In Contact, I know that it deals with contact management in the cloud. How the, the contact game has changed, especially over, the, say, the last six years or so, with, uh, with UCAS and with right. cloud becoming sort of the norm. Everyone now needs at least a solution that they can right. provide both in public cloud, private cloud, and hybrid. How has In Contact stayed with that change? Sure. Well, I think one of the things that's helped us stay with that change and where we're continuing to move beyond sort of the field, if you will, is one focusing on the contact center as a service, so the true cloud solution, right? There's a lot of, a lot of flavors of cloud and cloud washing and taking a, an on-premises solution and hosting it in the cloud. And that's sort of a, you know, that's a way to sort of shift some capex and some operations, but it doesn't fundamentally change the cost structure, doesn't fundamentally change the customer or agent experience, or help you move as fast and cost effectively. So by, by staying focused on that solution and making sure we continue to broaden and keep an integrated platform that's both good for the application and the agent and the customer side of things, unified reporting, uh, but also making an open platform for developers, right? Especially as you move, as we move more to an enterprise market, having that configurable feature-rich environment that gives you the, but still has all the elastic scalability, the free automatic upgrades is one thing, but having all that API and that rich developer ecosystem helps a larger company get that customization by extending it in a way that is, again, upgrade and future-proof so that it can build new solutions, extend it, but not have to worry about if I upgrade, will I break compatibility or have to spend a lot of developer and testing time each, each upgrade cycle. So we think that consistency and focus on one uh, development path for us makes, us makes us make better solutions for our customers in that cloud route. And I think one of the things that's very exciting going forward is uh, last year in contact uh, merged with NICE. So of course, NICE being the global leader in high-end enterprise workforce optimization and analytics solutions, you know, combining our forces, we're able to really accelerate the speed of innovation and take a lot of their leading technology and put that in the cloud in that same easy to consume, easy to, to, uh, to manage um, true SaaS solution. Uh, you make it sound so easy, but uh, there was actually a session here not too long ago where they were talking about how contact management is one of those pieces of technology that most IT departments are very reluctant to upgrade just because it's not really understood. It's, it seemed to be a, a bit magical. Right. What, what are the pieces of advice that you could give to that IT manager who's sure. maybe dragging his or her heels, sure. saying, well, what we have now is kind of working, right. so I don't want to risk it. Yeah. What, what are the pitfalls and how do they avoid them? Sure. Well, there, there are two big pitfalls, as so we'll kind of take them one at a time. So the first pitfall is the, is the sort of trap of doing nothing or staying with the status quo, right? And that comes to your point of upgrades seem hard, changes seem hard. Um, but as we've seen, right, with a lot of disruption over the past year with the vendor landscape and other areas, right, staying, you know, staying the status quo is not the low risk choice. And we've seen that both from, you know, looking at vendor, you know, futures, as well as looking at uh, customer experience. So one of our customers who recently moved from a legacy uh, platform uh, and was interviewed in Nojitter recently, uh, Carlson Residor, who is a uh, leading hotel provider, uh, Radisson being one of their best-known brands, they were on a, a very old Avaya legacy platform, and they got trapped in that same, well, upgrade's hard, there's dependencies, so well, let's skip the upgrade, let's skip the upgrade. And they were really falling behind the curve in customer experience and wanted to also do a number of things internationally that were slow, difficult to do. So they moved to in contact, uh, were able to get up and running within 60 days, which again, helps alleviate that whole, how hard is it? Uh, and now they've been able to add channels, add capabilities, and be able to scale with seasonal demands much more effectively. So, so it kind of shows that, again, that whole notion of don't fall in the trap of saying the, uh, the, the, what looks to be the easy path is, is actually the easiest path. The second big trap uh, or, or thing to watch out for is when you do decide to make that change, move your platform to the cloud. There are a few things that you know, we've found really help to, to do the, make the project successful. Um, so the first is making sure you've got high-level uh, executive sponsorship and buy-in. So making sure it's not just the IT department, it's not just the ops and customer service group, but you've really got the whole, whole range of, uh, of executives buying in. Um, the second piece is making sure you have a real clear business goal, right? What are you trying to do? So that way you can actually 
deploy the new system with that in mind so you're not replicating what used to happen, right? So if you want to have a different experience in terms of how you're handling call flows between different sites internationally that you couldn't do before, you know, and, and get telco savings and efficiency, right? Be, you know, build that in and design your system to do that. Don't just put the old system in with new technology. The third piece is really making sure that you, you work with uh, uh, implementation partners you know, who know what they're doing and can really help you achieve your goals. So you know, in contact, we have a number of professional services, but also a lot of great partners that we work with and we can recommend. And of course, the, the fourth piece is really making sure the technology you choose is proven out with customers and references and analysts as a leader of the space, which of course we, you know, we feel we fall uh, well in that category. I'm going to ask you to do something that, uh, of course, is impossible, but, and yet I'm going to ask it, and that is to look in your crystal ball and tell me, 2018 Enterprise Connect, in contact comes back to Orlando, how does the company look? What has changed? What are you pushing? What will you be most proud of? Well, I think this is going to be a very exciting year for us and for the industry as a whole. And we talked about at the opening about how cloud is coming, coming, coming the de facto piece. And there's you know, a number of sessions here about is cloud the new normal. You know, we've got a, another customer here speaking tomorrow, uh, Language Line Solutions, which showing how they successfully moved 8,000 seat contact center to the cloud and were able to really transform their business. And this again, this is mission critical stuff because they, they actually take 911 calls, right? So 911 calls, 8,000 agents in the cloud, Right, that, that's the kind of movement we're seeing. And I think as we look at in contact in the next year, what's going to be very exciting is with part of NICE, now we have more R&D resources than most other people in the space have people total, right? We've got over a thousand R&D, uh, person R&D team just focused on the contact center. What you're going to see is innovating and moving very fast when, when it comes to this enterprise grade cloud solution. And I think what we're going to start seeing next year is you're not going to be talking about how cloud contact centers are kind of catching up with parity with features of the highly um, customizable on-premises legacy systems, we're going to talk about how cloud contact centers are actually catching and passing that. And so just this spring release here, we're talking about the show, we've actually been releasing some omnichannel session handling features to give real seamless um, uh, handoff between channels for the customer and agent experience. So again, really catching up or surpassing a lot of the legacy uh, prem players when it comes to the omnichannel experience. We've added analytics-based routing, so we actually are doing natural language processing and, and, and routing contacts based on that. And you're going to see us really push that envelope next year. And so I think it's going to be very exciting when we talk again next year at how the in-contact solution uh, paired with Knights is really going to be not just uh, the best cloud option, but really I think moving towards the best overall option for a lot of enterprises. Chris, I want to thank you very much for sharing your knowledge, for, for really opening up giving some light to a part of the enterprise that is often underappreciated and, and often very much feared. I, I think uh, hopefully our audience understands that this is, this is not something that you uh, need to shy away from right. as long as you get a partner with experience. Yeah. Oh, if they wanted to find out more about InContact, if they wanted to find out where they can go perhaps to reach out and see if you could help them with their integration, where should they go? Sure, I think uh, going to our website, uh, InContact.com is the best way to go. We'd be happy to help you with your customer service and contact center needs. In touch and in contact. Stay tabbed because we've got more from Enterprise Connect 2017.